We're traveling the network of secret roads within the border triangle of Iran, Iraq, and Turkey. Our destination is Kandil Mountain, a PKK stronghold in northern Iraq. Our guide's name is Medya, a German doctor from Hamburg. We arrive in one of the PKK women's camps. Medya is well known here. She runs the PKK healthcare program. 14 years ago, she left Hamburg after discovering that German arms were being used against the Kurds. Now she's dedicated to improving their humanitarian conditions. It's very important for me to create and build something solid for the Kurdish people, particularly in the health sector. The people need political, social and military protection. This counts for all Kurds. And that's why I'm here, to be an active part of it. Training for the front line. These women are in the reserve. They could be called up to strengthen the front against Turkey at any time. Using simple but very effective guerrilla tactics, they can wage an effective war against the much larger Turkish forces. Aiz Malazgilt has been in the PKK for 11 years and commands this camp. With the right tactics and fighting techniques, we will win against the Turkish army. We do not have only the simple weapons you see here. No, we also have special troops which have ground-to-air missiles and other up-to-date weapons. We're ready for any attack. We've received a call inviting us to meet the PKK's commander-in-chief, Murat Karayilan, in a secret location. Our phones and GPS equipment are taken from us. These are security measures needed to protect the man on the top of Turkey's most wanted list. I tell you honestly, we do not fear the Turks. They should just try to attack us. I think it's important to understand the Turks are not coming because of us. They're coming because they do not want stability in this region. That's their problem. Thousands of PKK fighters are living in camps on the Turkish-Iraqi border, using Iraq as a safe haven to prepare their missions into Turkey. To call us terrorists is a big lie. We are supported by millions of people. We are a movement with millions of followers in the Kurdish areas of Syria, Turkey, Iran and Iraq. I think the reason we've been put on the so-called terror list is simply due to the economic and political interest of Turkey. We return to visit Medya in a small hospital she runs in a remote village. She's the only doctor in this area and the villagers are in need of medical treatment. Though she has achieved much, there are still shortages everywhere.
We're missing a lot of medical instruments, like ECG, X-ray and laboratory equipment. There's simply not enough medicine to go around. It's like being a rural German doctor at least 20 years ago. Back in the women's camp, some of the soldiers have been moved to the front. The situation on the border with Turkey is very volatile. Media is on alert. If the moment comes when I or my patients are attacked, I would not hesitate to reach for my gun. Erbil, in northern Iraq, is the capital of Kurdistan. Here, there is relative stability. No foreign troops can be seen on the road. It's a totally different picture to that in Basra or Baghdad. There is economic growth and trade is gradually increasing. But if Turkey makes good its invasion threats, these achievements will be wasted. It would also affect the Turkish economy. Many Turkish companies hold monopolies in the northern Iraqi construction businesses. The one and only German beer garden in Iraq. This is a meeting place for foreigners and Kurds who studied and grew up in Europe. The owner, Guntov Yaf, enjoys working in the region. When you mention the word Iraq, everybody is shocked because they all think Iraq is the same. But things are definitely different here. I can move freely, I can leave my front door unlocked. In fact, it's safer than Germany. Business is good here. We're supported by local government and by the local people. Of course, there are problems. For example, how to get the right food for my German restaurant. They do not have pork meat, so we have to change it to beef or chicken meat. But these are only minor details. Every day, the Turkish army tries to attack the camp on the Iraqi side, but the PKK has decades of experience. I think Turkey's greatest worry is our wish for autonomy. To oppose this, they need to put the government of northern Iraq, and therefore the US, under pressure. If this fails, they may well resort to force. Back in the secret camps of the PKK, Medya is meeting some political leaders. She acts as health spokesperson for the PKK. <laughs> I came with an aim, and whatever happens, I will not leave until it's fulfilled. It will be wrong to live here in the easy times and leave when the days get harder. No, that's not my way. The PKK awaits an attack from Turkey at any time. The border is tense, but after 23 years of conflict, the PKK fighters are strong in their belief in a better future for their people.